Welcome to Asai Rasai. This is a quick video I'm uploading to show you my Christmas lunch menu that I happen to make this weekend. Our plans for Christmas have changed, so I'll probably not be able to cook on that day, but I made it this weekend. And it's the yellow rice menu, which is very popular um, during the festive season and for special occasions. And here's a chicken curry. I made this first because it needs time to really take in all those flavors. I've just taken it off the stovetop and um, I'm gonna stir it a few times, mix it a few times, but leave it covered until it settles and the chicken curry is something you can make ahead of time and the potato curry is ready um, just kept on the stove top and ready to cook and this is my freshly extracted coconut milk for the curries and this is the eggplant that I've cut into strips um, it's been mixed with salt and turmeric and left for about 10 or 15 minutes until the water comes out of them I'm gonna squeeze out the water and then deep fry them for my moju and here's the yellow rice ready to cook in my rice cooker um, always make the yellow rice the day that you plan to serve it um, and the brinjals are deep frying now this is um, also something you can do the day ahead and then assemble the moju on the day that you um, are serving it and that's gonna help you to enjoy the day as well uh, stay away from the kitchen for the most part and really enjoy the meal that you've cooked so that you won't be tired after spending so long some of these things although they are easy to make uh, the preparation takes a while anyway these are the onions that I'm frying and the cashews and the papadam all uh, that I'm frying in the same oil that I fried the eggplant in and those are going to be my sides or my garnish um, and this too can be made ahead of time as long as you don't use a paper towel to drain the um, onions in because that makes them soggy and here's the meal the final the outcome of my efforts and this is the chicken curry you can see it's nicely settled it's not steaming and bubbling anymore but it's still hot so from time to time I went in and I kept uh, turning the pieces over like this and just kind of uh, bathing the pieces in the gravy and that way um, the pieces actually become more flavorful and this curry tastes excellent the next day so I always say make the chicken curry a day ahead and uh, all these recipes are available online i have a separate playlist for chicken curries uh, sri lankan style and this is my yellow rice garnished with crispy deep fried onions and cashew since i have other deep fried elements in my um, meal i really wanted to cut down on the oil on the uh, in the rice so i didn't temper it i only put the cloves cardamoms the curry leaves salt turmeric coconut milk and the water and i cooked it in my rice cooker so the flavor is still there but um, without the oil and the cashews uh, these take like 10 seconds to fry and uh, if you leave them any longer it's just going to become really black and some of them did turn black um, but I'm still going to use them and the papadam gives a nice big crunch uh, to the meal and this is the uh, moju that gives the sweet and sour now uh, the eggplant already is a little bit sweet but we heighten it with a little bit of sugar um, so that's a nice thing for the meal as well and this is the potato curry it's nice it's creamy it's very mild it's got enough gravy to bind everything together the soft texture of the potatoes are really fantastic with yellow rice um, this is not a curry that you can make a day ahead um, the potato curry should be made on the day that you serve it and um, this is how I'm gonna dive in um, you can see I have everything except the salad usually a salad is served and once again these recipes are on my channel Asai Rasai check out my playlist and all my videos for inspiration for your next meal thanks for watching